Today, we will learn how to master one-minute scalping with top-down analysis. I'll do a very detailed recap on my last trade. You'll understand possible entries in every level. You'll see how to identify fake entries and traps. Finally, it will be all clear about entries, targets, and stop losses, and how to use entry strategies for one-minute scalping. If you're ready, let's start. Welcome our free trading course. My main aim is to teach you price action trading strategies and smart money concepts. If you enjoy scalping and day trading or even swing trading, you are in the right place. Check out my free trading course. You can find the links on Google Drive or directly from my website, which is in the description. Okay folks, let's get back to our 15 minutes Bitcoin range. We have been watching this range for a long time. I personally hope that this range never ends. I have traded like 10-15 times already. If you trade it, type done in the comment section and let me know. Now, what do we have here at the top? As you can see, it is a very clear TT3, three tap pattern. This structure is part of ranges and it should be used with ranges mostly. What else do we have here? Very nice hunted liquidity. As you remember, ranges are all about hunting and forming liquidity, but nothing else. Now, this deviation is where I started to look for my next trades. When I see this kind of deviation, I look for mitigation and breaker blocks mostly. And I always try to identify my targets. The big imbalance below is a clear target for me. Now let's look inside this part with 5 minutes time frame and see what we will find. Great, 5 minutes time frame. As homework, you should pause the video and identify all the structures. If you just watch what I do and try to repeat after me, you'll never learn these structures. Okay. Even before my entry, I look for targets. It's a habit for me. I look for targets before even thinking about taking a trade. Would you start a business if you have no goals? Will you take an exam if you have no intention to win it? All the same. At the bottom, we already have our 15 minute imbalance and we have a five minute mitigation block. Very fresh and untouched demand areas for a reaction. There are also these nice liquidity areas starting to form. Now let's talk about entries. I'll talk about possible entries. I'll talk about my entry. I'll also talk about fake entries with traps and how to avoid them. First of all, all you can easily see the considerable swing failure pattern right at the top. Price breaks upwards and then suddenly drops perfect stop loss hunt. You can see the weak structure break. This is not a high quality break to be honest. But the imbalance that it leaves behind is giant and so powerful. Now this is not my entry. From now on I will also talk about possible entries and fake entries to improve your entry knowledge. Okay, this is a great possible entry with the first reaction to imbalance. If you take such an entry, you need to put your stop loss as high as possible. You may consider the tap 2 swing high point from the TT3 concept, but that is far away. In my opinion, this 1.5R setup is the best way to take this trade. Because the fresh order block stays untouched above, we need to consider that. Let's remove the possible entry and imagine that you missed that opportunity. Let's continue our analysis. Price breaks second time and creates a secondary giant imbalance. Furthermore, our breaker block is quite obvious. As I said before, somehow mitigation blocks and breaker blocks work extremely well with ranges. This is backtested. Okay, let's open the one minute time frame on this specific part. We'll check for scalping entries and how we can avoid traps if there are any. Since we are in the December and Christmas time, the trading volume is very low. Most traders take breaks in this month. We'll talk about this later. Let's check this one minute chart. First talk about how to spot traps and how to avoid them or how to use them to our advantage. I want you to focus on this part especially. 
you can see the very high quality brake and the market structure brake and the nice imbalance left behind. My question is, would you take this entry? Why or why not? Let me know this in the comment section. Let's imagine you took this entry and you are stopped out. Why? If you remember our trap and stop hunts lecture, or if you follow my Twitter account, I posted this tweet a couple of weeks ago. You should always check the above and below of the chart for waiting liquidity and untouched imbalances. And the deadliest combo in this world equal highs and lows with large imbalances. You must be aware of them. You can see the equal highs and the clear imbalance above your entry. Market structure breaks are not magical entry points. They are great if only they meet with other supply and demand areas. If you are impatient and you must take the trade, you must consider the possibility of the equal high hunt and imbalance reaction and place your stop loss way above the imbalance and the possible order block area. This is the only way. Let's check my entry. First of all, I waited for that equal high to be cleared first and let the price touch the 5 minute imbalance. Because imbalances are fields, price needs fuel to move in any direction. However, if you look closely, now there is another equal high above newly formed. This could be easily a trap inside trap, basically a double trap. I must consider it as such. So after this point, my entry does not matter anymore. What matters is, where is my stop loss? It should be on such a price level that will caution me from the possible equal high hunt and protect me from the imbalance. Let's zoom out a bit. As you can see, the most logical entry, stop loss and the target. I know you want those 10R or 50R setups you see on the internet, but trading is not like that. Markets will not go easy on you. You must be really careful about your stop losses. All these high frequency bots waiting for you. Before finishing things up, let's talk about December. Nightmare of traders. There are a couple of reasons that most traders hate trading in December. The first problem you'll encounter in December, especially the last two weeks of December, is the lack of volume in the markets. As you can see here, generally the trading volume of Binance is around 30 to 60 billion dollars per day. But recently it dropped to 14 billion dollars. On Christmas night it was around 8 billion dollars. Do not get me wrong, 8 billion dollars a daily volume is still way above many countries' stock markets. So, in December many traders take breaks and there are so many family gatherings. It is best to slow down your trading in December and take a break like everyone else. Another annoying thing is the tax loss harvesting. It is a way of reducing capital gain taxes. So basically many investors will sell their losing investments. It means people try to sell some asset without any reasoning or price action, only for managing losses. This kind of behavior may disturb price action and investment plans. Sometimes there will be huge crashes in specific asset classes. And that is the Santa rally. Oh Santa, we missed you. You made me a full-fledged short trader in 2022. Anyway, while some others keep selling assets, some people will wait for the Santa rally in December. So all in all, in December, many traders will take breaks from trading and go on holidays. Many will sell securities to reduce taxes. Many will expect Santa rallies. In the end, there are so many expectations and situations outside of price action. This is why December is generally the worst month for trading. Okay folks, I think this video is great for understanding scalping, stop loss hunts and the fake entries. I'll cover more and more examples in the future. You can use these strategies with Forex, crypto or stocks or anything that you want. I hope you subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thank you, please take care and see you soon.